Hi YouTube watchers and seekers, how's everybody today? Just driving home. Everyone comes to these pages because you're hoping and praying and watching and you're just dreaming of one of us coming up with an idea about when this is going to happen and we're studying we're studying each other we're talking to each other a lot of uh, a lot of us that are on here trying to figure this out we uh, talk to each other quite a bit try to see if uh, we can figure out the date the date the date the date when it's gonna happen the date when we can all walk outside the Bible tells us if you don't watch, you will not know the day and the hour I'm going to show up. Clearly says it. If you're watching, you're going to know the day and the hour. And I believe that. I believe that for a very long time. Very heated discussions over that subject with many Christians over the past 30 years. Um, that we're going to know. We are going to know exactly when it's going to happen. I still firmly believe, though, you are a Christian. You are a watcher. You are trying to figure this out yourself. That's why you're watching all these channels, hoping that one of us comes up with something that will just make a step back and go, wow, that's it. We got it. We know. But I firmly believe that you are the bride because you are watching and I firmly believe that you are going to be warned. Yourself, you, you're going to be told. Each and every one of us is going to get a, a warning or a, a get ready sign. Um, I, I believe that. The trumpet was the image that they used in the Bible of when the bride knew it was time. That trumpet blast. That might be ours too. I'm not... I, I mean, I believe there's going to be a trumpet blast on that day, but there's just, I feel like there's going to be this, this, uh, just before, um, when Paul was on the road to Damascus, he was blinded for three days, uh, and then he saw the light. He went, like, he saw the city that he was in. Damascus might be our warning. I don't know. That ship... I've been discussing that with Jay Justified a little bit. That ship has uh, been stuck out in that canal. I'm sorry. I was going to move over here, but then I didn't. Anyway, uh, that ship stuck in the canal. It's still there. It has moved. It's unstuck. It's it's not lodged anymore. But it's still in that canal, and they're going to go to court on that issue in. Uh, on the 11th. Now the 11th for them is still the 10th for us. I've been looking really hard at the 10th as some kind of a a warning that something's going to happen. They're looking at that ship because it's called Green uh, and that it's being delivered through that canal and then when it finally comes out of the ocean that's an image of us being raptured. God uses a lot of imagery, a lot of parables in the book, in the Bible to lead us to understanding and uh, when you put all these things together they start to paint a picture of when he's coming back and when there's a lot of math being done on 2021 it just looks like the year uh, I think I forget who it was one of the very prominent uh, youtubers are now pointing to 2022 I don't see how that's possible I firmly believe it's going to be 2021. Firmly, I, I, I'm really looking at July 17th, 717. It means to gather, to pluck up, to take 717 in, in, in Gematria. So that ship is on the 11th. They're going to decide to go ahead and get it out of there. Is that our warning that as soon as it leaves that canal that we're going up? I don't know. But I want, what I wanted to talk about was this. We don't belong here. We do not belong on this planet. Our bodies are not designed to be on this planet. 
when we sin, our bodies are changed. This planet is designed for another type of body. A body that doesn't get hot, doesn't get cold, it doesn't drown, doesn't get hurt. It's a different type of body. It's the one you're going to receive when you go to heaven. I hear too many people, young people especially, stating, well, I haven't hardly lived my life. You're in a body that's not designed to live your life here. Go up to the North Pole without a coat and see how long it lasts. Go out to the desert without some water and see how long it lasts. In these bodies, we don't last. We're not designed to be... I don't think the planet changed much, aside from thistles growing up and it being difficult to, uh, to uh, grow food. Um, the animals uh, becoming... Uh, Carnivores at that time as well, I believe. I don't think in the garden they were. Maybe outside the garden they were, but not inside the garden. Um, Adam and Eve being removed, I think, for the first time ever, they realize this is cold. This is hot. I'm hungry. If you go up too high in elevation, you can't breathe. You know? Um, I'm down here in Florida at sea level, and uh, we have all the oxygen we need down here. So, it's, uh, I do notice though, I'm from Montana, so I've gone up, back up there to visit, and it is hard to breathe up there. You get used to it down here. The oxygen is thicker. So, I wanted to tell you that you're going to be changed. You're going to have this incredible body, and you are not, <laughs> let me repeat, you are not going to miss out on anything on this planet, because you're going to be back here for that thousand year millennium serving with Christ to reign over the people who just didn't quite accept the Lord but God is so gracious he's giving them another chance another thousand years and at the end of that thousand years see Satan runs everything that's why it's falling apart that's why there's so much corruption that's why corruption is actually a, uh, celebrated these people love each other they just how much can they take how much can they take while the rest of us are down here just working and working and how much can they take from us um, it's so corrupt the system is so corrupt it's definitely designed by Satan but when Jesus is here running it none of that will exist it's gonna be fantastic and we're gonna rule over this group of people um, I heard somebody say which I thought was pretty cool that the curse will be lifted food will grow normally um, the animals will go back to the way they were before we got kicked out of the garden. That, uh, I think that the temperature of the planet is going to equalize. Although I'm sure, you know, there's still going to be snow and ice and stuff like that. But I just wanted to give you a little, uh, just something I was thinking about. For those people who are kind of on the fence, not sure, you know, I can't and is still in love with this planet, don't be in love with this planet. You are not going to miss anything. You're going to have a super body, and you're going to be reigning with Christ, and it's going to be incredible, and, you know, you'll be able to climb a mountain without worrying about falling down, because you won't make a mistake. You don't make mistakes when you have that glorified body. Uh, you'll be able to go into the s skiing and snow skiing without all the, the stuff, because you just won't get cold. So it's going to be so much better. Our minds can't even conceive of how amazing it's going to be here shortly. And man, if it's on the 17th, all the better. That's right around the corner. It's now the 6th. That's 11 days away. The 10th is... Oops. The 10th is four days away. Are we going to get some kind of a warning? Is that ship going to be released out of that canal? I don't know. Still stuff to think about. Alrighty, I just thought I'd get on here real quick and put up a video and tell you, you won't be missing anything here. It's going to be incredible where you're going, and that's where you want to be. Go to a quiet place, by yourself. Nobody needs to know. You don't need to tell anybody. It's personal between you and your father. Accept him into your heart, and you'll see the change. Accept him. I just watched... Uh, uh, Will. <laughs> Just watch Will's video. Worship and watch? I think it's worship and watch. Sorry, Earth. It's just all the way down at the bottom.
on my tent for some reason. Anyway, worship and watch. He just had a video. He says he put it, pointed out a few verses where um, it's your heart that you accept the Lord, and uh, in your heart is where your salvation is. Not in your mind. Your mind is does tricky things, but not your heart. You could say that you dislike somebody, but if you saw like somebody about ready to harm them, you would run to their defense because that's what your heart said to do. If your heart didn't feel it, you'd walk away and wouldn't care. That's your heart. That's the difference. Your mind might say one thing, but your heart is not going to allow you to do what your heart won't allow you to do. It, it, your heart won't allow it. So that's why I say it's in your heart. Come in there with nothing to offer. You have nothing to offer. You didn't do anything any more than I did anything. None of us did anything. You know, he did all the work on the cross. And on the cross, he said it is finished. So, anyway, like, comment, share, and subscribe to Worship and Watch. <laughs> we'll talk to you later, YouTube.